Installing ImagePrint Black should be a simple process, but we want to make sure we do things in the proper order. Before installing ImagePrint, make sure the OEM print driver is installed. After the driver is installed, make a test print to the printer from the driver. If you are unable to print to the printer, stop now and contact the manufacturer to resolve the problem, then continue. You can find the drivers for most supported printers at these URLs, and I'll put a link in the description below. If your printer is connected via Ethernet, you should navigate the menu on the printer and write down the IP address assigned to the printer in case you need it during installation. ImagePrint will attempt to auto-find the printer, but if it fails, you can manually enter the IP address. For the new Epson P7500 and 9500 users, it is very important that you do not install the PostScript driver. You need to install the general driver called Driver and Utilities Combo Package in order for ImagePrint to communicate properly. Now that you have your printer drivers properly installed, we are ready to proceed with ImagePrint Black. If you look at the packaging your dongle came in, you will notice on the back there is a sticker that says to get started at print-black.info. It also contains the dongle number and login ID. Let's open our browser and go there. Step one is to activate your license. Let's select Activate License. The first field is to enter the dongle number. Again, this is located on the back of the package. Now, the next field, Login ID. For a single printer license, there will only be one ID. Skip to the last field and enter your email address and select Submit. Your license will be displayed and emailed to you for your records. Go ahead and copy the license so you can paste it in during the install. Select back to return to the main page. Now we're ready to download the installer in step two. Depending on your connection speed, this may take a few minutes. If you haven't already done so, now would be a good time to plug the dongle into a free USB port. Once the download is complete, Windows will give you the option to open it now, or you can navigate to your downloads folder and launch it from there. After launching the Windows installer, you will need to agree to the license and choose install. Windows will then verify you wish to install the application. Choose yes to continue. The files will begin to copy to your system, and when finished, select OK. IP setup will launch automatically. Your dongle should appear in the upper left hand corner. Next, select Add Printer from the bottom and hit Continue. The license screen is where you want to paste in the license that you copied. If you didn't copy it, you can also find the email that was sent and copy and paste from it. Now you will choose your printer from the list. In this case, I will be installing the Epson P7500. The next window is wanting to know if this is the host computer. Yes is the default, so select Continue. Now we need to choose the system printer. For the P7500, this is why we installed the driver first. Find the printer in the list and select it, then Done at the bottom. The printer should now appear in IP setup and the status should be licensed. ImagePrint is now installed and you can exit IP setup and launch ImagePrint from your program files x86 ImagePrint folder for the 32-bit version or program files ImagePrint for the 64-bit version.